we as artists have to uh, support these progressive campaigns and agendas. We really have to uh, use our talent and skill uh, for for some substantive reasons, right? Other than pr promoting the debauchery that corporations make their money off of. Right. Right. So this is my this is my dedication to Empower DC. This 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 um this song makes me cry. So if I get a little teary up here, you know why. But just to let you know what Empower DC is. And I love the work that they do. It's the only organization in DC. I've, I've, as an artist, I've worked with dozens of organizations. I uh, have, have um, used my, my music and my work to augment their outreach campaigns and rally at events. But there's really only one organization that I know that has effectively mobilized the residents of Chocolate City onto the steps of the district building and in the halls and the chambers to advocate for themselves and redress their grievances with the government. And that is powerful. That's deep. That's deep. A lot of, lot of protests going on in this town for international issues, and there's never any black people there. How do you bring half a million people to D.C. and, and you don't have any, and you don't have, you don't have 50,000 D.C. residents be a part of it? because there's no outreach to us. Zero. And Power DC is an organization that does that kind of outreach. So in Power DC, it's people soul power. From the belly of the beast in the midnight hour, defenders of the district, from miscreants who benefit through polytrix that devour. All the progress won in the 60s, Hundreds of years of struggle undone quickly. In less than 50 years, the beast has outmaneuvered us. You know, they used to shoot at us, and now they out recruiting us. Discouraged from pursuing knowledge itself, some excel and promote hell to increase their wealth. One of the best ways is to become elected. The easy formula today to be respected. Mismanagement of townships and cities, they legislate segregation by class. And it's a pity, as the rich get richer, the more the poor forfeit. That's why Empower DC is so important. Too many businessmen in government positions, the mayor and the council people are making their decisions based on corporate economics, AKA profits, and using the public resource to fatten their pockets. Anthony Williams, our last mayor before this one, Anthony Williams, war on the children, war on Chocolate City children, continues through May the 5th to sell in school buildings on the advice of pilgrims. We got Giuliani Town in D.C. It ain't D.C. no more. On the advice of pilgrims, looking for deals in indigenous neighborhoods, starving to kill them. That's the story of this country. Right? Mm -hmm. Now on this corner, We've been living for years, and now I gotta pack it up and hit the trail of tears out the PG County. Michelle relocated, cause the way she made it, we can't afford the bounty that it takes just to scrape the plate. Cause the culture we demonstrate, they philosophy hate. But in power DC overstands the states. They unbought and unbossed. Who said that? They unbought and unbossed, so they can do what it takes. Empower DC is an organization. I guess the phone says it all. <laughs> Empower DC is about community. Now, how do we fight this? Empower DC is about community. Power to fight for the rights of you and me. To stop accepting what's done to us typically, and organize to deliver consequences politically. On issues of greater good in the neighborhood, we listen to herself advocates like the mayor should. Revitalization without displacement, it must benefit us at the end of the equation. A right to education and housing, Chocolate City doesn't work without child care, how there is it possible that so many obstacles exist. 
Human need first is our pitch. And since we don't accept funds from the government or corporate dollars, when we throw a fit, we're not afraid to get it jumping in the streets in front of that district building, calling them out, throwing concerts on Freedom Plaza, blasting them out, calling them sellouts. We ain't afraid to get it jumping. That's why the other organizations can't do it. When you get that government, Green Party, talk to these, talk to our progressive brothers and sisters. You can't, the government will never sponsor its own demise. It won't do it. That's why they can't get out there and, 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 and protest and make noise. Because they'll lose their funding. They ain't afraid to get it jumping in the streets. All day, every day. To all the man they meet. And the hook goes, the mission is to uplift the residents in the nation's capital, home of this president, where the Congress, Congress issues their benevolence via home rule. It's a scam, and we're telling it. And power DC is for the people. And power DC to treat all equal. And power DC the way it should be. And power DC for you and me. Thank you, my name is Tom.